Cześć! Witam Cię drogi widzu, Geloquero z tej strony w kolejnym odcinku The Quarry. Poznajmy rudowłosą Abigail. Musimy tutaj się rozejrzeć po okolicy dosyć fajnej i w sumie przyjemnej, jakby nie spojrzeć. Wszędzie natura, domki i tak dalej. Coś pięknego. Dobra. My tu gadu gadu. A śmierć czeka na nas za rogiem. Przeszukajmy to miejsce. Zobaczymy czy znajdziemy coś właśnie ciekawego. Co to był za dziwny dźwięk? Nudziło mu się, czy co? Nie, tam nie wyjdziemy. Ale warto zajrzeć wszędzie, bo... Może znajdziemy jakieś te karty Tarota, aczkolwiek to widzę po, po haszczach za bardzo się nie możemy szwendać. Więc najzwyczajniej na świecie będziemy chodzić po tym otwartym terenie. Tutaj. No byliśmy przed chwilą, więc nie ma sensu tutaj wchodzić z powrotem do góry. Ale na przykład każdy domek z osobna moglibyśmy sobie już tutaj powiedzmy że przejrzeć. Chociaż nie, nawet się nic nie podświetla. No dobra, to nie. O, tu coś jest. Odkryta wskazówka. Wykonana lata temu nagrania piosenki obozowej z Hackett's Query. Technologia posunęła się do przodu, lecz piosenka pozostaje taka sama. Ok, tutaj też nie wejdziemy. Ej, no właśnie tu zdziczałe troszkę to sterowanie jest. Też nic, serio. Teraz tak będę łaził jak śnięta ryba tam i z powrotem. Tutaj może coś? Też nic. Nie. Okej, okay, tutaj mamy troszeczkę większy ten teren. Tutaj nam postać nie chce wejść. To teraz tak. Zanim bym tutaj próbował wejść, to może najpierw bym się skupił na reszcie tych domków i na przykład tym, co tutaj możemy pod drzewem znaleźć. A coś się tutaj nam podświetla. Samouczek, dowód. E? O co tu chodzi z tym? Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Okej. Okay. Okej. Okay. Czaje. Ouch. 
hope Jacob hasn't seen this. O, osiągnięcie. Usta fiolka. Okej. Okay. No i widzicie, warto tutaj, wiecie, szwędzać się wszędzie. Próbować. Kombinować. Bo możemy napotkać całkiem ciekawe fakty. A to, pamiętajcie, przyczynia się później do tego, że możemy skończyć grę na wiele sposobów. I nie wiem, przez to może ktoś zginąć, albo może właśnie przeżyć. Ja pamiętam, jak sobie na PlayStation 4 pogrywałem w Man of Medan, udało mi się odkryć yy, prawdziwe, że tak powiem, prawdziwą nazwę statku i prawdziwy bieg wydarzeń. Ale nie będę tutaj mówił, bo być może znajdą się jacyś widzowie, którzy najzwyczajniej na świecie w to nie grali, więc nie będę tak potężnego spoilera tutaj ujawniał. Wszystko pozamykane, no. Oho, tutaj... A, to jest nasza koleżanka pewnie. Po to, żeby się przejechać gdzieś tam, powiedzmy. Ja to zanim to zrobimy, to właśnie się tutaj jeszcze... ...podkrywamy. Ja też zamknięte, czyli w sumie nie ma niczego. Dobra, to teraz chodźmy do tamtych drzwi. Mamy w ogóle jakieś takie szare na tle tego światła. Ach, też nawet się nie podświetlają. Powiutko. Tutaj też przejście zamknięte. No, no. No, czyli w sumie jedyna ścieżka teraz to jest jeszcze tutaj właśnie. No i później już do niej. Mogę jeszcze raz zobaczyć? No, w sensie obejrzeć sobie tekst. Caitlin, Jaden, Chisney, Sharpay, Wiesel, Ryan, Brooklyn, Jay, Idris i Kirsten. A, dobra, pokaż tekst. Nie zauważyłem tego. Ewentualnie coś za domkiem może jeszcze będzie? Czy może niezbyt? Nie, chyba nie. Ready to roll? Hmm. Let's do it. Finally. Oj, jeszcze ja będę prowadził. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Whoa. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh. <gasps> nice steering tech. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you put it? Summer fling. 
we're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When he get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Hmm. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Hmm. Sarcastically. Oh, how do you even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be like really happy to rock. <gasps> My favorite spot? The fire. Uh. The island. Mad secluded, right? Is, is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably, you know, give up. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know. Gonna leave it at you? Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. <laughs> uh huh. Mięsny jest czuwa. Ja bym był taki, żebym sprawdził, co się tam dzieje. Dylan. Broma do obozu letniego. Don't worry, Jacob, I got it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. Why to keep out bears? Apparently. Hmm. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Hmm. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. 
Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking dumbass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Quarry. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Hmm. Defensywnie. Defensywnie. Oh yeah, you got a cooler one? Oh no, I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, 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 seriously, dude. I think it just it came out wrong. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, hacketeers? Yeah, 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 I'm nearly done, Mr. H. Hop to it. Get those butts in gear. Kerawada, if our bags weren't locked up. What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about ghost the stories? H of H's Q. The Hag of Hackett's quarry. I was just... Oh, for Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Hmm. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just. Ryan zaczyna tracić cierpliwość. Na razie same złe decyzje podejmuje, tak jakby, no. Masakra. No dobra, w takim wypadku. So, uh, Chris, I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Hmm. What's so high? Those kids are kids. You don't need to be so much of a... They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone for Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. 
Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. I just. I mean, I heard. I. I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry, I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, this is whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Co pogadali? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Ryan, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can't. I mean. Shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are gonna like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Hmm. I zrobimy z niego takiego wiecie, takiego typowego, jakby to powiedzieć, e, w porządku gościa, nie? Nie tutaj, że no była tylko zabawa, coś tego typu, tylko że, przepraszam, kultura. Szacunek. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Hmm. Niedociekliwie. Dlaczego? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? To oczywiste, żeby nam nie powiedział, ale. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. <clears throat> Right where I left him. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's get out of Ah, właśnie, przecież oni nie wyjadą, bo nasz kolega wziął kluczyk. Czy nie wiem, co to w sumie było. 
Jeśli nie znam na samochodach. Tam tej jednej części nie było w tym samochodzie. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Cause it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, I'm gonna have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, no, I am not leaving without- It's the way it's gotta be. Come on, Jacob, start her up. What's the problem? Ugh. Oh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, dude, come on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Ścieżka zakwalitowana. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! To jest ewidentnie na rzeczy. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, we'll just spend one more night here. No, no, just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. O, to się strasznie dziwnie zachowuje ten gość w ogóle. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Hmm. Niepewnie. Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! Coś tu serio nie gra. that about he uh said to stay inside that we're not leaving until the morning are you kidding me um are you kidding me what are we supposed to do well we should go inside like he said we could go inside until morning yeah or or we could do something else What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? 
I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. No, 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 dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it, you know? You, uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Hmm. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told Boo! me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. No, yes, no. Serio, ktoś do nich mierzy z broni? So yes. Hunting season. No, nie dobrze. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Empty-handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. Znowu nic nie znalazłem. A, bo jakbyśmy się włamali. Okay. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Hmm. No. Osiągnięcie zaskoczyło za rozdział pierwszy. A teraz mamy rozdział drugi. Prawda czy wyzwanie? American Wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. <laughs> Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Well, 
What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Kopnąć drzwi. Kopnij. Whoa. And see. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You listened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beard art, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Ooh. It's locked. Ale działa. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Jackpot. Hey, uh check out my giant melons. Oh. <laughs> See. You just cut a hole in it? Mhm. Mm you pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. I w tym momencie rzecz jasna zakończymy sobie odcinek, a w kolejnym rozpoczniemy rozdział drugi. Emmą. Dzięki za uwagę i do zobaczyska.